Well, Sagittarius, I really drew some interesting cards for us. So the first card I drew for the first half of the month is the High Priestess in Reverse. And what I think this means is that coming in from July, there may be some of us who are not listening to our intuition and we're focusing too much on worldly matters. And this card warns us not to neglect our innate talents. And so if you were starting a project that is related to something you're good at, and for some reason you abandon it because you got distracted with, you know, everyday concerns, then this card is an affirmation to get back into that creativity so that you can do what you came here to do. And so the next card I got was the four of wands in reverse. And this is still a positive card. So it just suggests that if we've been working on a project that it's taking longer than we thought because of the obstacles that were before us, but success is still in the hopper for us. So that's another positive indication that and even though it's in the reverse, it's, it's something that is, it's like the sun card where it's like a delayed success. And then the last card I picked for the first half of the month is the lover's card. And in addition to the literal meaning of someone finding romance, finding a partner during the first half of August, I happened to see in my Anthony Lewis book, Tarot Plain and Simple, that in my deck, which is the Rider weight deck, Archangel Raphael is behind the two lovers and he is the angel of healing. And I did not know that. So that is very interesting. And I think there might actually be a theme of renewed health in the month of August for us Sagittarians, because I picked another card for the second half that seems to suggest this. So that's wonderful. The lover's card can also indicate that a major choice must be made. So keep in mind that this might crop up or you might even know about that already, that there's something that you're going to have to decide. And they might be two completely different things. And so it makes it that much more difficult because they may be both things that you want to do, but they're completely different. And it's like going in two divergent paths. So for the second half of August, the first card I picked was the 10 of wands. And in the Rider weight deck, it shows a man who is really hunched over carrying all these clubs. And yet they all have little sprouts or <laughs> leaves sprouting from them. And this means that these are, you know, the beginnings of manifestations, the buds of manifestation. But he's hunched over, which indicates that he's working very hard. So Anthony Lewis's book terms it the burden of success. It sounds so contradictory to talk about burdens and success. So what I see it as, it's kind of like almost like the two of pentacles, where there's a lot of activity and there's a lot of working. But even though he's hunched over, he still is able to carry these rods. So what does that mean? Well, what it means is that you have to be careful not to push yourself too much, but by the same token, you do have the energy to be able to do what you need to do. And it also may suggest that you have a lot of actual work. So if you've been working on a project and you're saying, okay, when is it going to pay off? This suggests that it will pay off. It just might be so much that you don't know how you're going to actually fit it in. Well, you will be able to fit it in because you have the reserve energy to do so. And not surprisingly, the card that I picked right after that was the strength card. <laughs> so that's wonderful. It's the number eight. And, you know, the it shows the person with the lion. And there's a little eight above her head. And it's kind of like that infinity sign 
But it's so interesting that, you know, we're in an eight universal year. So I think this is a wonderfully auspicious card in terms of prosperity, but I think it also kind of connects with that 10 of wands in kind of reiterating that we have the strength. Don't freak out if you do have a lot of success that you can't get it all done because you will be able to, but it's also another healing card. So it connects also to the lover's card and it's a major arcana card as well. So that's really cool. And the last card I picked for the last two weeks of the month is the king of swords. And this I think is kind of like the judgment card in the major arcana in that if you've been awaiting a court case, it will be decided and it will be decided fairly. So in other words, you won't get cheated no matter what the decision is. So it bodes well for you in that sense. And because we have that full moon at the end of the month, it could be in some relationship to your family, property matter. And so it looks like things are going to go your way in regards to that. And the overall card that I picked is a seven of pentacles and it shows a man looking at all the things that he he's leaning on his is that a hoe <laughs> he's got his hoe <laughs> um i think that's a hoe i mean rake or whatever but he's leaning on it looking at the things that are blossoming the leafy green that's the color of money. And then there's pentacles, which is coins, which is money. And so it's someone who has worked for a while and is kind of like in a phase of watching to see how things are progressing. And it's also indicative of a change for the better when it comes to finances. So, I don't know about you, but I think that these are pretty good cards and I look forward to August and I hope you have a great month as well. And I will talk to you later. Bye guys.